On episode 145 of He Said, She Said Movie Reviews, we take a look at Unorthodox on Netflix. Welcome to He Said, She Said Movie Reviews. This is the podcast where a happily married couple with similar but different movie tastes take a quick, spoiler-free look at the movies, helping you make the right decision before your next movie. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm April. So we just watched Unorthodox on Netflix. I give this series three and a half stars. How about you, April? Same thing. It's solid and very, very good. This is a series that follows a young woman who was brought up in an ultra-Orthodox community in Brooklyn's Williamsburg District, who strikes out for Berlin, leaving behind an arranged marriage and a tight-knit faith community, in part to pursue her goal discovering her path. The director was Maria Schrader. She's known for The Giraffe, Farewell to Europe, and Love Life. Writers, uh, Anna Winger, known for Deutschland. 83, 86, and 89, (laughs) and Alexa Karolinski. It's her first writing credit. This is based off the novel by Deborah Feldman. I'm going to really try hard not to butcher the cast here, but it's Sharia Haas, Amit Rav, Jeff Wilbush, Aaron Altraj, Alex Reed, Ronit Ashiri, Della Mayer, Dion Doran, David... Mendelbaum, Jara Sandler, and Eli Rosen. All right. The runtime was 213 minutes over four episodes. And it was rated TVMA. First thing I want to thank is my parents for telling us to see this and Netflix for making it. It was so good. Yeah, this is one of the, I think the interesting thing is, well, let's talk about the theme right off the bat. This okay. is about oppression and rebirth. Right. And it's it's set in the, the Orthodox Jewish community in Brooklyn. What I thought was really interesting, that this whole movie was made by in by a German company, and most of the, the uh, film was filmed in Germany, too. So I right. just thought that was really interesting. And it's really about a young woman who is in a really not good, it does not work for her. She's oppressed. And it's about how she gets out and how she trusts herself. And I always say the greater the risk, the greater the reward. And this is what this is all about. Yeah, Esther's uh, path from the first episode, her story arc from the first episode to the end, it's such an amazing journey. I think there's a reason why both April and I gave it a 3.5, but we'll get to that when we start talking about the dialogue. This was actually a really good movie or series. I, for one, was really pulled in. I don't know about you. I completely, from the just the, the beginning of the episode, I think the acting was incredible. But the two characters, Esther and Yankee, they're married. And I thought they both were amazing. Yes, the story centers and focuses on Esther. But her husband, Yankee, I thought they did a great job of letting us into how the marriage was supposed to be. I loved all the characters. I loved the buildup. But most of all, when you see a character, their journey go through so much and it to work out, if you will, that was fantastic. I'm Me personally, I'm not a big fan of flashbacks as, as a storytelling. Yeah, um, but here medium, it was but good. they did a really good job. Hats off to Maria Schrader in the direction of this because the, the flashback scenes really added to the story. Absolutely. Really helped you see how things go. So they built the story off of the right. flashbacks and stuff. I thought they did a really good job. And you really really get insight into this community. I just had no idea. I mean, I knew it was within um, Brooklyn, uh, a district there, but I I thought I knew a lot about this community uh, and the religion, but I did not. Yeah, it's really interesting. I learned a it, lot. It's like a, it's almost like a, a, a second country with inside the United States. It yeah. really, but it was really, it was really interesting, and it was also scary. I mean, obviously, as I watch, I mean, I, you know, to be taught from the time you're a little girl to make sure you don't outshine a man was just, you know, one of many things for me that hit. But the, the oppression was just. 
I mean, at one point, I, it was hard for me to breathe. I mean, watching it, it just, it's, it's, it was very hard to, to watch. Yeah. And I, I think once again, they did a really good job showing the whole thing, the, the religion and. Yes. And I, I've lost where I was going to go with this. So. But also community, how they celebrated, how they ate together, even how all the way down to how they gossiped and how they got involved in each other's business. I mean, it was it was a deep look in. And this was even in a, you know they, an arranged marriage that was done with a matchmaker and all that other th- fun stuff that you hear about. Once again, the acting, I thought the acting was really good. All these people are, are, are actors that I've never heard or right. seen. Or, and they did so good. And also, too, obviously just been back from Germany not long ago. It was just beautiful to see again. But I also loved all the people that she met along her journey. Uh, right. It was great. Well, she did such a good job, uh, Sarah Haas, playing um, oh, SD. Oh, my gosh. I mean, she's very so believable, believable um, really good actor. And one of the neat things, going back to that theme of rebirth, it was like when she got out of the Williamsburg district and started seeing things that she'd never seen in her life oh, yeah. before, she did a really good job of, of acting and selling that, wow, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody roller skate or right. I've ever seen some a disco but, or, you know, right. whatever. And it was well-directed. I don't remember much about the score. No, I don't remember the score at all. Cinematography, I thought was really interesting because they kind of did, they showed New York, her hometown and everything as kind of dark and gray. And But when she got over into Germany and Berlin, it was very colorful and alive. I thought that that was really interesting. Production design, hey, it was good. Nothing special there. Yeah, and I thought it, what I really appreciated is all the way down, there was obviously their wedding scene, but whether it was that or celebrating a religious holiday, the the food, the table, and their costumes. I mean, let's talk about that. Sure, but one thing to point out too about this, almost every one of these actors is Jewish or Israeli. Right. So, I mean, this was told by people from the Jewish religion. Which is fantastic. Let's talk, I thought the costumes were great. You told me something about the hats. Yeah, the hats that they wore, apparently in real life, they're made out of sable and, oh, wow. and they're over $1,000, the hats that the men wear. So I, All right. I thought the production, the special effects, there was none to speak no, of. And editing. Editing. But the pace fun. moved along fantastic. Yeah, it's a really well-told story. Yeah. Now we get to talk about the one thing that, that brought my score down for sure. Listen, the dialogue was good. There's some really good dialogue. There's a scene in the, the fourth episode, uh, the final episode, where the mother's talking to her daughter and, and the stuff she tells her right. about oppression and everything right. I thought was really interesting. But the problem is this movie is in primarily German and Yiddish. There is some English involved in the movie, but most of it is German and Yiddish and there's subtitles. The subtitles were awful. Yes. There were times where it, We'd miss it. I, it flashed I would, by so fast you couldn't read it. However, that didn't happen very often. Uh, it, and I, it wasn't bad enough to distract from the no, movie. but No, but it was just a point to, to share. So, But this, I just want to tell everyone, when my parents told us about it, I was like, eh. And then I'm just so glad we saw it because to learn about just things you didn't know about. But just this, this will remind you that everyone has a journey, and it could be very, very different than yours. And it's only four episodes, and it's very, very binge-worthy. Yeah. It's worth sitting down for it four is. hours and watching the whole thing. And also, too, just just seeing her in her journey. There was a scene in there, and I don't want to give it away, but— um, No spoilers. I know, no spoilers, but it just really—she comes alive, and it's just—it it was great. So I hope y'all will watch it and enjoy it like we did. All right, so Unorthodox by Netflix. Both April and I give this uh, series three and a half stars. We thank you so much for uh, tuning in or <laughs> playing the episode. We really appreciate it. And please tell a friend about the podcast. And definitely see this, okay? Because the actors were outstanding and the story even better. We'll see you on the couch. And thank you for all your support. And everybody stay safe out there, okay? We're keeping everyone in our prayers. See you on the couch. Thank you.